So I'm starting the Twin Lakes Trailhead. I did this trail <clears throat> before. I'm not actually going to Twin Lakes, but it forks off down here to the left goes to Twin Lakes, to the right goes to Grouse, Hemlock, and Smith Lake. <clears throat> I've done that trail before, but I never got all the way to Smith Lake because once I got to the second lake, the trail was covered by snow. This was a couple years ago, so I'm looking forward to finally getting to my original goal. <clears throat> the official trailhead plaque. Let's see, there's a bunch of trails around here. I'm going to... Here I am. It forks off right here, then I'm going to go down to Grouse, Hemlock, and Smith Lake. Or you can go that way all the way. Next time I'll go to Twin Lakes or Island Lake. I hear that's nice too. So it's only uh, three miles one way to Smith Lake. So, um, but it's uphill, so it takes a little while. Let's get going. Starts off with a nice meadow walk. Grouse to the right. where it starts to climb a little bit after the fork. Okay, we're at the boundary, the Desolation Wilderness. <clears throat> I've been hiking an hour. I've already come up quite a ways, but I'm going up there somewhere. I don't, <clears throat> I'm not too far from the first lake because <clears throat> I can hear the uh, outlet. And uh, <clears throat> I know once you cross the outlet, what you do is you're just like five minutes <clears throat> from the lake. Now, <clears throat> my horse grows, uh, gets a horse up on these high altitudes when I'm hiking. <clears throat> well, this last little bit to the outlet is a a lot steeper than I remember it, and I'm not as good a shape as I was last time. <laughs> That's straight up. I missed steeper than the Mist Trail. And then, <clears throat> you can hear it right by those trees. But switchbacks right there, and around, and I'll be there in a minute. Two, three minutes. <clears throat> Here we go. It's not, it's not too deep right now. Cause it's late in the season. I gotta, go, I gotta go around this way. I don't have my, I don't have my poles down, so I watch my balance. I'm holding the camera, but earlier it was, it was like waterfalls coming down with rocks. But earlier in the season, that is. But now it's just a little drip, drip. So the lake. I'm going to go over across this outlet and curve back to the right. It's right up to those trees. Another five minutes.
almost ate it. Okay, I'm back on dry land. <laughs> okay, just about two minutes past when you cross the outlet. Uh, the trees open up and you crest this little sunny spot and the lake is right out here. First lake, second lake, third lake is out a little bit more. But you can see it right through the trees. And so here it is for lake number one, Grouse Lake. <laughs> Last time I was here, the thing was a half uh, frozen. And all those hills up there were covered with snow. There's a couple small patches away up on that mountain. I'm going to take a short break here, then continue on to Hemlock. <laughs> I've been to Hemlock once too. That's a pretty cool lake because it's right up against a, a stone wall and the wall reflects in the lake and you can hardly tell the edge of the lake and the wall. You'll see when I get there. Okay, here's lake number two, uh, Hemlock. It's pretty cool. You can see fish jumping <clears throat> all over. You don't really have a good mirror effect from the rocks because um, the water is rippling. But you see the fish jumping everywhere. There goes one. Dang. I've only been here one other time. It's prettier up here than I remember. But I haven't gone any further than this, but I'm fixing to do that now and go to Smith Lake, which I hear there's good fishing up there too. I didn't bring the pole. Yeah, so I was <clears throat> going to the next lake, so I was walking up here and I saw the trail out there to the left a little bit and I started walking and I turned around and saw this log and saw the trail up there and I almost pulled the Nana. And Hannah is when she's in the lead and just walks off the trail into oblivion and then we, when we just follow her till we realize this is not even the trail. Uh, that's what is known as pulling an Anna. So you gotta watch out for that. Okay, now I'm almost to the top. Or the third lake is just right over those few trees right there. <clears throat> because you can see the mountains behind there. It's down in that bowl. <clears throat> I haven't been there yet, but according to my end reach, I'm only like 150 feet away. But um, look at that. You can see all the way past on the, the mountains on the other side of the valley. But you can see uh, Rice Lake, um, Ice House in the distance. There's two in the foreground, one way back there. He's got the ice house and there's me going over there. Uh, I'm not sure which one that is. Oh boy, you can climb up there. Well, I've been hiking four hours, but according to range, we're gonna actually be moving an hour and a half, so don't stop a lot. Gorgeous up here. Whew. And the nice thing about it, there was no up, uh, there was no downhill on the way up here at all, so it's gonna be downhill all the way back. Probably get back there in an hour. <clears throat> okay, here it is, man. This is one cool lake. Let me get down here a little bit, a little ways.
there. Someone built a little rock wall right here. Look at that water, it's clear. Crystal clear. Oh, it is gorgeous. Well, that's going to end this adventure. I'm not going to take any video or pictures on the way down because I got all I wanted on the way up and I'm in a hurry to get down because I'm hungry. But this is a goal that I did not make a couple of years ago and I'm glad I got here today. Water is like, look at that. Crystal clear. It's filling up from all that snow that's melting. And there's the outlet right there. So, uh, see you on the next trip.